How's it going, YouTube? I was just having a coffee on my way in to do some work on the MR2, and I thought, let's have a look around this Volkswagen, shall we? This is the worst flat white I've ever had, this. Here to stay. So tell me what you want, tell me how you want it, tell me all the reasons that you're running away. I don't think you're here to stay. No, I don't think you're here to stay, no, no, no. I just want to be with you. Earlier on this year, I, I was having a bit of a lull point with the MR2 and I thought, I fancy something different. I've always wanted a camper van, so I started looking into a few things. I was looking at Mercedes Sprinters and other... I wanted something small that I could just drive around wherever I wanted without worrying about car park spaces or, or where I can drive. And after looking into a few things, I decided on the, the Volkswagen Transporter. I wanted the T5. Um, I've actually since then, I really like the T4. But I decided on the T5. So I had a search round and I found the cheapest one I could. I was trying to do it without spending too much money, really. So I ended up buying a T5 Shuttle, which is like their nine-seater uh, minibus version and it was a real beater it's done a lot of miles all the lacquer was all cracked it looked I'll, sh I'll put a photo up now and show you what it looked like um the inside was a mess so from then set on my journey converting it into a camper so let's start let's have a look around the outside of the van shall we i've kept in with what i like to do which is modifying let's have a look So what I've done on the outside is I've I've fully resprayed it. I've resprayed it the indium grey off of the the new shape Volkswagen. It came with those bars on it, but I, I tidied them up and make them look a lot better. Fitted the V Max coilovers and dropped it as low as it'll go. It's about 100 mil, I think. I bought a cheap set of wheels off of the the Facebook market. These was off a guy that had them on a BMW and he. He wrote it off, so I got them nice and cheap. Uh, they're 20 inch LK Raptors, I think they are. Changed the indicators for those nice clear ones to get the colour off the side, keep it quite neutral. The new facelift mirrors, because it really sent me nuts looking at the stock ones because they're two different sizes, at least these are both the same size. Changed the headlights for, they was advertised as like a Audi R8 style. But they're actually quite nice. They've got the little projector beam in the middle. Took all the chrome off the grill and blacked it all. Blacked the badge. Put a little German badge on it to add a little bit of colour. Fitted some racing stripes on it to make it a bit quicker. 103 brake horsepower needs a bit of a hand, so there's a good 10 brake horsepower there. Fitted a really bright light bar. I found when I was scooting down little lanes looking for somewhere to stay, it was a bit hard to see what he was looking at so I thought that looked pretty cool and it's super bright and useful. Sportline front skirt I think it is. I got that off of eBay, I fitted that. Got a decal. I got that off of eBay just to add a little bit of something to it just to break it up. I actually fitted it because this panel's quite dented and because it's a, a matte decal you, you can't see the ripples in it as much. 150 watt solid solar panel and roof bars to protect the solar panel. Tinted lights on the back just to dull the colour down a little bit. I've gone for, I wanted a bike rack, but I went for the Fiamma Carry Bike Pro because the, the cheaper version, the Carry Bike normal one, has got two bars that comes down there and they hook onto the bottom of the of the tailgate and the, it looks terrible. This one looks a bit more like the actual Volkswagen one but a lot cheaper and it's it only it only carries two bikes whereas the Volkswagen one does four. You can buy a four bike kit for it but I only need two. There it is down. It doesn't stick out that far it's it looks quite nice and compact. One little mod I've got on here I saw it on one of the guys of Facebook actually uh, and I've stolen the idea. Behind that panel there, I've fitted the 240 volt hookup lead, so we can plug it in for power and charging. I've never actually used it, I've, I've always ran off the solar panel to be honest, but it's there 
if I need it. So before we have a look in the back at the interesting bit, let's have a quick look in the cab because I did quite a lot of work in there to the dashboard. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. Yeah. I just want to be with you. Yeah. I just want to be with you. I just want to dance. Okay, so in here I've used some proper vinyl plastic paint on the dashboard. Uh, you just dust it on really lightly and it, it changes the pigments in the, in the plastic so it dyes the plastic rather than painting the plastic so it's a lot longer lasting just some from Halfords actually uh, I colour coded these trims just with some normal paint and lacquer fitted a Pioneer head unit make it look a bit nicer my little hula girl uh, running Tom Tom as well because the the sat navy side of the Pioneer is terrible. I, I prefer the Tom Tom. This is their top of the range one. It's really nice actually with the the live updates and everything. I covered these pillars in suede. I yet to do those ones. Those ones are done. The roof is covered in carpet and insulated behind it. I've still got a load more work actually to do in this cab area. I've, I need to recover the seats properly. They're just seat, cheap, cheap seat covers on there at the minute and these pillars here I, I need to cover those and there's a load of other little bits and bobs I've still got to sort out let's have a look in the back shall we right so here's the interesting bit let's have a look in here shall we Right, so everything in here I made myself, literally everything. Uh, the only thing I didn't is those seats there, the just just the cushions and the covers actually. This this bottom, those backs because I'm not an upholsterer and I can't make that. But the frame and everything I made myself. Right, after I stripped everything out, I had to strip everything out, carpet the sides, fit a floor, fit a roof. Then we started making things to go inside. So the first thing was the bed. I bought these cushions uh, off of eBay as like a it was like a cheap ex stock thing. So everything in this vehicle, because these are made all myself, everything in this vehicle is based around these cushions there. They were the first things I bought, and from that I could make the bed frame and then I'd know the width for the build the cupboards to the bed. The main thing I wanted was this frame when I built this frame was a lot of them I've seen they have legs down there. I didn't want those legs so what I fitted was linear sliding rails and then the whole thing pulls out on the rails, the rails are weight loaded so you've got no chance of any legs coming across the floor and scratching the floor. To pull the bed out there's literally a little lever under here you pull that across and then pull on it and you end up with what's quite a decent sized bed actually I don't know what they call them I, th I think it's like a, a small double I suppose it is it's perfectly acceptable for two people and I'm quite fat if we look underneath there you can see the linear sliders and they're rated at, I think it was 160 kilograms each, which is plenty. In the back corner, I've got a nice little bed light, which has got a USB socket on the side, and I've got a little elastic thing to put your phone in, so you can leave your phone on charge, and it's nice and convenient. I did have a problem with the the gap here between the end of the bed and the tailgate there was, a, there was a gap there and my pillars kept falling down the gap so I've built a little shelf on the tailgate and it closes that gap up quite nicely actually after I built the bed and got the bed in then it was next to build the cupboards I built them as you can see to the same width as where the bed comes to behind there is the electrics in here like a little wardrobe area this one too. We'll have a look from the back in a minute. I fitted a gas strut into the frame to help bring it back to a chair. So literally, to put it back as a seat, we grab it down here and pull it up. To get the measurements for the cupboards, I started off with the width of the fridge and then I spaced out everything in between. That particular one there 
has a little porter toilet in it and I needed to get that width exactly the same. In there's my emergency toilet, just in case. I've never used it, but I'd rather have it and never use it than need it and not have one. There's a cupboard with cooking utensils and plates etc. This has got the water storage, we'll look from the other side. Because this is a twin slider, you can get to this from the back. So I made that so I could change these water bottles and the gas bottle from the back of the vehicle, from the outside, so we're not dragging it all inside. Drawer for storage. All sorts of crap in there. And the Waco Dometic fridge. I've chose this one because this is the lowest power consuming fridge you can buy. It's quite expensive, but worth it. Up here, we've got a two ring gas hob and the sink. And everything folds away nicely. I fitted a TV, I don't really use it that much, but it's there just in case. It's not got an aerial to it, it's one of those smart TVs, so I use my phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot, connect to this, and then I've got my Netflix and whatever else I want then. Battery power monitor, this is quite useful because this tells me how much time I've got left in the battery. It tells me if it's charging or discharging. Really useful piece of kit. This was designed for boats, actually. Snazzy little gadget. This pulls up. And I've got sockets in there for when I'm hook on hookup lead. But I've never used it because I've never been on hookup lead. The solar panel's always done what I need it to do. I've got some USB sockets there for charging. As you can see, I've got a camera battery and some of the batteries on charge there. Planer diesel heater. Not long since fitted this actually. It's fitted under the driver's seat there, and we've got a an outlet for it here. It's essential in winter, it's really good. One of the recent things I've just fitted is a new seat base for this passenger seat here. The, this spins round to give us loads more room. Let's have a quick look, shall we? We have to undo those two screws there. Here, there's also two at the front. Undo both of those. Right, now both of those are undone. You should be able to push it forward, angle it, and turn it round. It is quite awkward, but I'm getting used to it. Tell me what you want, tell me how you want it. Tell me all the reasons that you're running away I don't think you're here to stay No, I don't think you're here to stay No, no, no And there you have it. Even more room in the front. That's a lot better. Right, back to this second door we've got outside. We'll have a look behind here. It's not quite finished yet. I've got to tidy it up a bit more. But you can have a look. As you can see behind here, this gives nice easy access to change the gas. And a nice easy access to fill up the water and change the water as well. As I say, it needs tidying up and finishing. Right, and here in the back, in a little cupboard under the seating, this has got all the bedding in and I've got a little tool kit and the cable for the hookup lead. And in there we've, we've got another access to the inside of this wardrobe. That's just a second way in because this is a when the seat's up this is a bit awkward to get into. So we've got a second access there. And down here in the bottom, just some more storage. Right in the back, don't know if you can see it, right down there is the battery. But I've just got some chairs and stuff in there. Hanging on the back door there, we've got a dining table. I can unclip that and let's take it inside. Right, so I can take that table, I can clip it on that rail. I can't really do it with one hand, so I'll get it clipped on and then show you. This, you press this button and the leg comes out. Right, so there we have it. Table's clipped in, that's on the rail. This table will move backwards and forwards where we want it to. It actually clips on underneath and locates into a little framework, so it, it holds it steady when you want. But I can press this, that'll unclip it and then it'll slide backwards and forwards and I made this the same as the worktop so everything matches in and that's about it guys for a look around I've not gone into too much detail about anything because it's it's a lot if there's anything specific you guys want to know about like the charging system because I run off solar I never use a hookup lead at all to be honest I, this the solar and the split charging does me so if there's anything specific you guys want to look at on any of the vehicle, 
Uh, I'll see if I can do a video on that, just just explaining a bit more in detail about what's been done. Don't forget to hit like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're going to do some more stuff on this, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers. So tell me what you want. Tell me how you want it. Tell me all the reasons.